Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to replace a roof scupper. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end so you won't miss out on any details of how we were able to do this. Right now, we're starting to remove some of this trim and siding material. We're also gonna be cutting out a decent amount of roof section so we can get and expose this leak area. The reason why we're here is our client noticed some like stain. It looked like it was something leaking from the top and it was coming through the wall and down to the side. So the first thing that we did was to cut out a section of this plywood on top of the roof. And as you can see right there on the right, there's the leak that is coming down. It's like a really bad stain. So all this material, we're just being very careful to remove it because after we are done with this repair, we're gonna install all the material back in its place. So that's a huge tip that I wanna give you guys. Whoever you send to do this kind of work, make sure that they are careful with removing the sections because the other option is they can just come here and start destroying and, and breaking and tearing things down, but then you're gonna have to purchase new material and it's gonna drive up the, the cost of your job. So right here, we already exposed the area and we found that this scupper was the one that was causing the leak. And uh, once we inspected it a little more closely, we noticed that it had some holes, like you see right there, you can literally see through it. So throughout the years and just because of how old it is it started to just fail the metal corroded and the water was going through it and that's why you had that stain coming down the side of the exterior wall the good thing is that this was on the outside it wasn't on the inside so the damage the water damage that was caused wasn't so bad but this roof scuffer scupper it is a type of roof drain that is used on flat roofs to allow the water to flow off and drain pop properly. The way how we removed it is we just cut around the top so we can um, better access the metal scupper. And once we cut around the perimeter, we were able to remove it, take out the gasket that was securing it to the drain pipe. And then afterwards we were able to easily remove it. This is the new scupper. We actually had a custom order it. Um, the way how you do that is you measure the existing one, the width, the height, the depth, the position of the drain hole, and, and everything. So you want to be very precise. And once you have all those measurements, you send them to the manufacturer, which we have one here locally, and they were able to make one here pretty quick. The hole is three inches wide. So we actually put some flashing tape around it, and then we put the new, like the gasket that um, it's like a rubber gasket that you put and you tighten it and, it and it seals it up. So before we install it on the top, we're cleaning around all of the edges because it's gonna be a very tight fit. And uh, because we, we had so much room to work with, it was very tight. So we had to just wiggle it in there and in one corner, it actually got bent so in the end, we try to straighten that out as best as we can. And the way how you secure this in place is you just want to put some screws on the sides and that's how it will stay and, and be fastened in the area. Then afterwards, you can just tighten up the rubber gasket and, and attach it to the existing drain pipe. But all of this roof scuff, scupper, this, this drain, is very useful especially in areas where there is heavy rainfall or snowfall now in our case over here in the pacific pacific northwest we get over half a year of rain coming down so this type of system is comes very useful you see that three inch hole right there that's the connection that is gonna basically all the water that goes into this scupper it's gonna then go out and, and through the drain pipe and you know to wherever it needs to go. But installing this scupper drain on a flat roof 
it can be relatively straightforward process with using the right tools. Uh, right here we already got it into place and uh, we just screwed it on to the sides and then afterwards we're just gonna seal up the area around it and uh, the, the rubber gasket that I mentioned earlier that helps to prevent water from seeping through the gap between the, the drainage opening and the roof. So all you want to do is that gasket is to place it around the scupper drain and attach it to the roof. So, um, and, and then afterwards you can put some caulking around it and also on the top we have some work to do. But once you install it in place, then you can go ahead and put all the material back now this is where it comes in handy, like I said before, to be careful when you remove all the material 